I was at the the uh, doctor today with my grandfather. My grandfather has cancer. Ain't doing too good, but it's whatever. Uh, we're sitting at the cancer thing in the waiting room, and uh, this truck pulls up like a little looped around, like where you can pull right up to the front door, like a little valet thing, to drop people off or whatever. You know, this truck pulls up. Uh, elderly lady gets out, the passenger seat, and walks inside. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, you're in a waiting room. You're like, man, we're at the cancer center. Like, that's sad. Like, this this lady has cancer. Like, you know, she's probably not doing too good. She's probably come here for treatment or see a doctor or whatnot. So, I mean, that's sad. But I'm like, man, that's so sweet of her husband to uh, to drop her off at the door. Instead of parking across the street and both of them walking in together, he was considerate enough to drop her off at the door. And uh, I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. Like, it really kind of touched me, you know. But this next part, y'all are never, ever, ever going to believe. Uh, so, like, a minute comes by. Like I said, you have to park across the street. She sits down. I mean, she didn't look sick or anything. Uh, her husband comes in carrying a, a bag of medicine, all of his medication. And, uh... He, I mean, he didn't have no hair. He obviously had cancer. It was obvious. The The appointment was for him. He was the one going to the doctor. And I just thought that was the coolest thing in the world. How he's sick and he could barely walk. But he still dropped his wife off at the door so she didn't have to walk. When you think it would be the other way around, that that's cool. That's respect. That's love.